Today on Bumpy Road Brews from Abel Ebenezer Brewing out of Merrimack, New Hampshire, I have their Tabula Raza, a blank slate. This is an apricot amber ale. Uh, I don't know exactly when it was canned on, but there is a, uh, oh, let me talk about the ABV before we get too far from what this is. I think it was like five something, five percent, five point eight percent ABV. Uh, so tabula, tabula rasa. Uh, I guess it means blanks, a blank slate. Uh, there's a big story on the back, uh, and I won't read that. I'll leave that down in the, in the description of this video, though. So if you feel like reading it, it's it's uh, quotes from uh, John John Locke. Uh, stuff like that and uh, this is kind of like a beer I guess that they brew for the new year uh, or maybe they just brewed it for the new year because it's different <laughs> it's a blank slate so let's go ahead and crack this one open and let's see what this apricot amber ale has to offer So it's got a nice white frothy head on it. It is a kind of lighter amber, maybe a darker amber. I don't know. I always think of amber as being red, um, kind of like this color, but then there's sometimes that kind of yellow or stone. So maybe this is just, it's a nice, uh, it's an amber. We'll just call it that. Uh, as far as clarity, I can see shadows through it, but I uh, can't really see through it it's it's kind of like an unfiltered look uh some aromas from afar there's a lot of biscuit no i get there is this kind of jamminess maybe apricot jam like an apricot jamminess um with a lot of bread biscuit type notes Basically the same thing when you get in closer. It's just more in your face. All right, let's uh, dive on in here for the first swig. So cheers. So yeah, it's like a, a medium body, uh, moderate carbonation, tad bit drying to the palate on the finish. Uh, big flavors of biscuit, bread crust, right up front with this one I know this is supposed to be apricot but I just tasted something that kind of it tasted like a, like a pepper of some sort like a, either a, a very mild jalapeno or a green bell pepper type pepper uh, flavor yeah it's coming off I mean, there's there's a flavor in there that's probably apricot, um, but it's coming off very um, very green, um, very vegetal like. Um, in the aromas, it smells more apricot, like apricot jam. It's coming off very kind of vegetal um, on the flavors. So biscuity, bread crust, uh, all coming from the malt. And then the hops are kind of giving off a vegetal note. I'm not sure if they put apricot in this or not. Maybe that will be uh, disclosed if I can find it on Untapped. Uh, let's uh, talk about the uh, the bitterness and kind of more on the finish. Yeah, I mean it's not like super bitter. There's just a touch of bitterness. So it kind of stays within that kind of biscuity, maybe like a slight kind of burnt tone um, to a biscuit. Um, the, that's kind of where the bitterness is kind of leading me. Um, maybe woodsy, like a woodsy type. Um, yeah, I continue to get that kind of green vegetal uh, type note versus really being able to say yes definitely apricot on the flavor uh, but yeah this one's interesting 5.8% ABV I mean drinks about that maybe a little bit heftier 
as I'm drinking on, I'm starting to pick up more of the aromas coming through on the on the palate. Starting to get a little bit of that kind of apricot jam. But it still kind of does have that green vegetal thing going on. Um, yeah, this is an interesting one. I'm not like a huge like amber ale or red ale uh, fan. Uh, it's just something that usually doesn't excite me um, all that much. I mean, this one's it's decent for what it is. I, I'd say it's it's very good. Um, no real flaws that I can find besides maybe that green vegetal thing. But that just makes it kind of interesting to me. I like bell peppers and I like jalapenos that are hot and spicy, but, um, yeah. Yeah, it just keeps drinking the same over and over again. Um, uh, nothing, nothing really bad about this one. Like I said, I'd probably say it's in the very good range. Anyways, um, if you're into ambers, um, red ales, things like that, if you like apricot maybe you could pick that out a bit more than i could from this but it's there uh it's just not screaming in in my face anyways uh, but i think a, a fairly appropriate uh malt bill on this one so just want to say cheers and thank you all for watching